Good morning, brothers and sisters. What does it mean to be a joint heir with Jesus Christ? In Romans 8, verse 17, it says the sons of God are joint heirs with Christ. This is a truth that is almost beyond comprehension at present, but God wants us to begin to understand it now. And he has revealed much to us. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, neither has entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those that love him. But God has revealed them to us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. We are joint heirs by adoption. Now, to understand the glory of being a joint heir, we must consider who has been made joint heirs. It is lowly sinners, unclean, condemned, and cursed. Rebels, outcasts, having no hope and without God in the world. Living living in a fallen world headed toward an eternity of judgment. Yet these are the ones who have made joint heirs by Christ. To be a joint heir with Christ is something like a dirty, poverty-stricken child being adopted by the world's richest man. But in truth, that is as nothing compared to a sinner becoming a joint heir with Christ. To understand the glory of being a joint heir, we can think of with whom we are joint heirs. It is to be joint heir with the one who is the image of the invisible God, whose name is Emmanuel, the mighty God by whom all things were created, who is before all things and by whom all things consist, who sits at the right hand of God, who has a name above every name, who in all things has the preeminence, who has all authority in heaven and in earth, under whose feet are all things. We are joint heirs with him, who is heir of all things. There is nothing that Christ has not inherited, nothing he does not own, nothing he is not head of, and nothing he is not lord of, nothing he is not judge of, nothing he cannot dispense as he pleases. Nothing exists now or ever will exist that is not part of Christ's inheritance from the Eternal Father. We are joint heirs with him who made the worlds. We are joint heirs with him from whom nothing is impossible. To understand the glory of being a joint heir, we can think of what being a joint heir consists. It is to know him as a bridegroom, to live in his glorious kingdom, to rule and reign with him, to be the eternal trophy of his grace. It is to be like Christ, to have an immortal, incorruptible body like Christ's. It is paradise, mansions and ivory places, garments that smell of myrrh and aloes, and clothing of wrought gold and raiment of needlework, flying white horses, thrones of glory, and crowns of glory. It is eternal life in the new Jerusalem, a holy city, 1600 miles cube, a city of pure gold like unto clear glass, with light like unto a stone most precious, even a jasper stone, clear as crystal, with walls of jasper whose foundations are garnished, with all manner of precious stones and gates of pearl. It is streets of pure gold, as it were transparent glass, the tree of life growing alongside of the river of life, It is everlasting joy and eternal singing, and no more death or sorrow or crying or pain, and eternal holiness untainted by sin. It is seeing the face of the Lamb and serving Him. To be a joint heir with Christ is described in many passages, such as the following, Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their Father. In the glory which you gave me, I have given them. John 17, verse 22. Father, I will that they also whom you have given me be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which you have given me. John 17, verse 24. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. A far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. The riches of the glory of his inheritance and the saints who shall change our vile body, that it might be fashioned like unto his glorious body. Then we will appear with him in glory. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints, he shall receive a crown of glory that fades not. 
when he shall appear, we shall be like him, to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. He that overcomes shall inherit all things. God bless.